I am strong, I am strong in the Lord. Yeah, I'm strong, I am strong, I am strong, yeah, in the Lord. Sing, I'm strong, I am strong, I am strong, yeah, in the Lord. I am strong.
thank you, Lord Jesus. You're, I want to thank you for um, bringing me from um, the overflow. I had a uh, menstrual cycle that was not normal somehow. I don't know what was happening. I was bleeding for like more than two weeks. So, yo, at first I prayed about it. And then at first I was like, God, no. And I was like to my mother, ah, I don't know what's going on. Then my mother's like, no, this is not normal. You must ask Pastor to pray for you. You ask him what's wrong. And I asked Pastor, and then he's like, let me pray for you, my daughter. And now I'm here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I thank God that um, it's never going to come back. Amen. It's never going to come back. Amen. Yes, it's never. Because I, really, I had it before when I was like about. I think 17 or 16 years old in Cape Town, the menstrual cycle didn't happen, they prayed for me, and I realized that it came back at this time. But I thank God that everything is gone. Amen. 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 I am strong, I am strong in the Lord. Hey, I'm strong. I am strong. Okay, uh, actually, Pastor Stan. Uh, Pastor is a title, and uh, Stan Slas is my name. Uh, Mbala is my son name. And uh, I'm an engineer by profession from the Copper Belt University. I uh, majored in electronics engineering. And uh, uh, pastoring is a call from God. It's, it's a divine election that God has set me apart, you know, to help him achieve his uh, commission for winning the lost. That's all about Pastor Stan. Most of my inspiration uh, mostly comes in the time of uh, prayer. I do a lot of praying. That is one of my secrets. Especially I utilize uh, the gift of praying in the spirit a lot. And at that point, when I'm praying in tongues a lot, that's when I get uh, melodies in the midst of praying in tongues. And then I will know that this is a song from the Lord. Uh, but especially uh, also when I'm worshiping, I get inspiration through that. That's how all my inspiration comes. I don't sit down and write. It just drop in the midst of, of prayer or in the presence of the Lord. Actually, the song that I've done, I'm strong in the Lord, is a song that was dropped based on uh, Ephesians 6 verses 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His mighty. You know, that's where the, the inspiration came from. And the song dropped while I was ministering in the press, in the place of praise and worship. And uh, this song, it's a statement of faith. It's a proclamation. It's a declaration. It's a statement that gives us an opportunity to prove to God that we've got faith, especially in this time when things are shaken all over the world. When you are saying, I'm strong in the Lord, you are making a statement of faith that enables God to have a place in your life. When you say, I'm healed, you are simply making a statement of faith which proves that by the stripes of Jesus, indeed, you are healed. So this song is not just a song, it's a prophecy. It's, it's a declaration. It's the word of God and it's the power of God that minister healing and transformation to your spirit, to your soul, and to your body. That's all about this song. Actually, this is not the only song, but this is the first song that came with agency for me to release. I've done uh, uh, 12 songs. Actually, most of the songs that we sing are our own songs that I have literally composed and written. So, most of the songs I've written, uh, they are yet to come out. So, I'm Strong is the first track that the Lord inspired me to release quickly. There's songs like There's Nothing Too Hard For You. I believe I'm believing God also to enter the studio for the next song. So I've written 12 songs, believing God to produce an album of all the 12 songs produced by Pastor Stan, inspired by the Holy Ghost. I encourage you to say, don't listen to this song just as a song. You need to take it and make it like it's a confirmation it's a proclamation, it's a statement of faith. So every time you begin to play this song, take it in your heart and begin to sing it with the confidence of expecting something to come from you. 
like that man he expected something from peter so expect as you are listening to the song expect the lord to minister to you so that's what i can say shalom and the lord bless you pastor stanley